Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh shoot, I don't have my wedding ring on. Dang it. Anyway. We are here with a disappointing products video. I always get nervous before I film these, which I haven't filmed one in a while, but I always get nervous because I'm like, people always get mad at me if I talk about something that they like. So let me do the disclaimer. If I talk about something that you like, I'm not coming for you. I am not trying to destroy your life. I just didn't like the product. It doesn't mean I don't like the brand. It doesn't mean I don't like you. I actually really love most of these brands and not every brand is gonna put out products that everyone likes. There's always gonna be, oh, I love this product but I wasn't a fan of this one. Like that's just how the world works. So anyway, let's get started. I'm nervous, but we're gonna do this. Okay, so first up, I got this when I was at Gem Beauty. This is from the brand Nude Sticks. Some of these products I've had for quite a while. So it's these two little pencils, moisture pencil and a magnetic matte lip color. So this is the one, the magnetic matte lip color in the shade Blossom. When I first saw this color, I was like, oh my gosh, I love this color so much. Look at that shade. Is that not so my kind of color? So pretty. So I put this on, like as soon as I got this in my hands, I put this on my lips. It was, and I'm not exaggerating, the driest lip product I've ever put on my lips. It dried my lips out immediately. Like as soon as I put it on, I was like, oh my God, this is a horrible. And I've not really tried a lot of things from the brand Nude Sticks, but I always hear people talk about this brand and they talk about it really positively. Positively? They talk about it really well. Like people like the brand, they like the products, they like these magnetic matte lip colors. But we all know that I'm a sissy girl when it comes to any type of matte lip. But this for me was so incredibly dry, but so sad because that color is so good. Oh, and this moisture pencil that comes with it. When I saw that, I was like, oh my God, that's great. Like you put that on and then you put the lip on and it doesn't make it as dry. I tried this under the lip. I tried it on top of the lip. It just, it's just like a dry wax nothing there's this is not providing any moisture no it's not doing anything this is like trying to put out a fire with a dixie cup full of water it's just not gonna happen so i have a hand cream from sol de janeiro and if you know anything about me you know that the bum bum cream is like my most favorite body butter of all time their bath bombs are incredible they're expensive but they're so good i love sol de janeiro one of my favorite brands and i tried with this you can see like i used a good amount of it and i kept wondering why my hands were so dry i mean it was winter time so my hands always get a little dry but they were like cracking they were so dry that i was even embarrassed to like show products on snapchat because i didn't want people to see my hands and I kind of thought that it might be from this and I mentioned it to you guys on Snapchat and a few people were like, oh my gosh, I had the same thing happen with this hand cream. So I stopped using it and it totally went away. Like my hands just kind of recovered. So I don't know if it was something in this that was bothering me, but this hand cream dried my hands out. So you use a hand cream to moisturize. This one did the opposite and I'm not really sure why, but this is a total pass for me, but Sol de Janeiro in general, phenom. Another brand that I love so much. Sunday Riley makes my number one skincare product of all time, which is Good Jeans, which I've talked about so many times. This is the Ceramic Slip Cleanser. So I tried with this. You can see I used it probably like five times. It's for normal to oily skin. There wasn't any one thing that made me not like this product. It just, I just felt like it didn't really do anything and it made my skin feel really dry and kind of like, er, er, you know what I mean? Like when you touch your face and you're like, my skin is just like way too tight and dry. So maybe it's for those that have like really, really oily skin. I'm more like combination oily. My skin hasn't been as oily as usual. So 
I don't know if this would work for someone who's a little bit more oily, but for me this was just too much. It just dried my skin out way too much. And the smell was not very good. Kind of smells like eggs mixed with skincare. Sorry, Sunday Riley. I love you so much, but mm -mm. oh, this product. So this is from J Cap Beauty. This is the makeup primer spray in the scent Rose. I also hang on. I also have the Jasmine one. There may even be another one. I feel like there were three of them. I was so excited when I saw these. I was like, oh my gosh, the packaging's so cute. I love primer sprays, I love rose, and I like jasmine. These are so incredibly fragranced, and I'm a fan of fragrance. Like, I'm not one of those people that doesn't like anything that has scent to it. They smell like perfume times a thousand that has five million drops of essential oils in it. Like, the scent is not playing. She is really, really strong, way too strong for me, and scents don't bother me. So I feel like, no. Oh, this was a sad one for me. So this is the e.l.f. Solid Sponge Cleanser. So when I first started using this, I even talked about it on Snapchat, and I was like, you guys have to go out and get this. It's so inexpensive, and it really works. This gets your beauty sponges really, really clean, really, really fast. But the problem is, this is black, and the black coloring gets stuck in the beauty sponges, and it doesn't come out. So that's, that's the only reason I didn't like this. If they would change the color, I would be totally down for this because it really does work. Oh, I can't remember what brand this was from. I'll try to look it up online. It's a sponge. It's like velvet. It's freaking velvet. Are you kidding me? Like, it's so weird. Like, just touching it kind of freaks me out because it has such a weird feeling to it. Um, it didn't work. Like, you, I don't know. It, it was weird. It was really weird. Like, the makeup would kind of sit on the top of the sponge, but nothing would soak into it, which I think was kind of the point, but it just didn't work. It made my foundation look very patchy. Nothing would, like, blend into my skin. It was very, very weird. Oh, so weird. No, no. This is, like, a total fail. Oh, and then I got this brush sent to me as PR. It's from the brand. It's from the brand Blend Smart. So it's like a rotating brush, and it actually feels really cool. So it's kind of along the same lines as the Clarisonic, where you have like the rotating brush head. The Clarisonic one really works. This one. I don't know, it just, the way that it put the foundation onto the skin was just very weird. It wasn't seamless, it was, I don't know, it just made my foundation look really bad and it didn't, it didn't work. And I tried like keeping it stationary and letting it do its thing, I tried like spinning with it, no matter what I did, it just didn't work and it's a fail. But it's kind of sad because... It feels really cool and it feels cool when it's on your face like it I don't know it's just it's kind of neat but mm -mm, it didn't work oh another oh I have lots of beauty sponges so I have this one from elf this has pieces of glitter in it I will do a close-up so you guys can see can we can, like do you guys already know why this is a fail it's a beauty sponge with glitter on it so the glitter that's on the sponge gets onto your face. Whose brilliant idea was this? I just don't know. Like the first time that I used this, I was picking glitter off my face and I was like, bitch, I'm done. No, no, such a no. Oh, last sponge. This might be the worst one. This is from Tarte. I love Tarte. I have a Tarte sponge that I really like that I will pop a picture of right now pop it up right now what anyway I don't know exactly what this was called but I will have actual names for everything down in the description box I think this was the first sponge that they came out with the second one they came out with is amazing really really good sponge but this one is just no I'm gonna do a close-up so you guys can see but it's not smooth and when you put that on your face those little like 
divots and cracks in the sponge show up on your face and you're like blending like a maniac and it just never goes away because the problem is the actual sponge. So no, I love you Tarte, but this one totally missed the mark for me. Oh, okay. So this is the Milk Makeup Flex. So this is the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. So I love this concealer. It's wonderful, beautiful concealer. The problem is, okay, this one looks good, but it doesn't take long. And even the ones that are good, depending on how tight you put the lid on, the little um, stopper does not stay in. It comes out and then when you take the lid off, like when you unscrew it, there is just product everywhere. Now, of course, the two that I'm showing you are not, there we go. Okay, here we go. So the stopper is stuck in the lid. So look at this mess. There's just concealer everywhere. And I know this is an ongoing problem with this concealer. I've heard probably 15 people complain about the exact same thing. So I love the concealer, but they need to fix the packaging because this is going to deter a lot of people from purchasing it, which is sad because it is a really great concealer. And it's not like a constant problem. It's just like, oh, what's it going to be today? Am I going to get a stopper or is the stopper going to be jacked up and screw my life up? I don't know. It's Russian roulette with a concealer and it's not fun. Okay, moving on. So, CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. I really, really wanted to love this. I think the packaging is super cute. The wand looks kind of interesting. It's one of those like plastic weird wands. It just didn't do anything. That's really all I have to say about it. I tried numerous times. It didn't give me length. It didn't give me volume. It just didn't do much and I don't like it. I'm like so bitter right now. And then the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I love this packaging. It's so heavy. You could beat someone over the head with this. Like this could be a weapon. Love the packaging. It's so cool. This mascara. Oh, goodness gracious. And I love the brush too. Look at that big old brush. I love a brush like this. So when I saw that brush, I was like, this is going to be so good. It's going to give me volume and length, and it's going to be my new favorite in the packaging. Like, I was so excited. It just doesn't do anything. I tried layering it with other mascaras. I did, like, four layers. There's, like, no length. There's no volume. This is so just underwhelming so sad I wanted to love you I tried I tried with this no it's it's just not good Ugh. so the NYX lip lingeries this one is in the shade corset the shade is really really pretty it's like that like taupey cool toned nude these will dry your lips out like you will not freaking believe so dry when I first put this on I loved the color and within I would say five minutes I was licking the corners of my mouth it was so dry and then it gives you the whole butthole thing such a huge fail for me like no no and then I have this rose gold highlighter from hard candy it is called the just glow rose gold highlighter you're not going to be glowing with this. I can tell you that. I'm like really, really upset right now. I'm really upset. Like when I see all these products that were such a fail, it's just so sad. The formula is just so weird. Like when you first put it on, you're like, oh, that's going to be pretty. Once you start blending it with your brush, it totally disappears. And it's just this weird like powdery powder left over there's like no sheen it's just like powder sitting on top of your face and it doesn't look that good and i mean it doesn't look good at all there are some really really great drugstore highlighters that are very very inexpensive this not one of them speaking of highlighters so i have this maybelline master holographic prismatic highlighter Just wait. Just you wait. We're gonna go right here. Um, 
what? No. That is so chunky and it's like, it's in like pieces. It's not a smooth swipe of product. It's like little bits and it's just so chunky and so weird. This is ready for the stores. Put it out. Bobby, let's go. We're ready for the shelves. Like, you are not ready for the shelves. I'm sorry. No. Oh, another product that was a disappointment. This wasn't the worst. I just didn't really care for it. The Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colors. This one's in the shade Rosetto Liquido. Oh. Oh, hey, no, it's not. <laughs> This one's in the shade Blush. Wait, but it says Rosetto Liquido. What does that mean? Liquid, liquid lip? Liquid color? I don't know. Anyway, so um, I thought I was gonna like these because one of my subscribers was like, oh, you're gonna love that. It has that like moussey texture that you love and it doesn't really dry down too matte. I, I just, I just wasn't a fan of this. It, the formula was pretty good, but it was almost like patchy where I had to keep putting more on. And I, ju I just didn't really like it. I didn't it. love the way it looked on my lips. It looked kind of like heavy and whipped, but not in a good way. Wasn't a fan. Oh, another mascara. So this is a very high-end mascara. This is the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel mascara. So... My friend Jen actually told me about this and her lashes look incredible. They're so long and thick and gorgeous and voluminous. And she was like, I use the Chanel mascara. So I purchased it when I was in LA, Erin and I went to the Grove and you know, I try to be all bougie and go up to the Chanel counter like, I'll take that $30 mascara. I really hated it. I really didn't like it and I tried. I mean, it's not the worst, but it just didn't do enough to justify the high price tag. Like if I'm spending $30 on a mascara, you better make my lashes look freaking fake. Like I want them long and thick and gorgeous. And this was kind of underwhelming. It just wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. It didn't give enough length. It didn't give enough volume. It, I just, no, mm -mm. stick with drugstore, not a fan. Oh, this is another expensive product. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Lips in the shade Showgirl. I love Charlotte Tilbury. The majority of things that I've tried from her is really good. This is not one of them. So Erin had sent me this. I'm just going to do a little close-up so you guys can see this um, applicator right now. It's chunked with product. Like gross so again it has that like weird whipped texture but it's not done right it's very dry when you try to put this on your lips it's so patchy this is not a cheap lip product this should be gliding on with very smooth opaque gorgeous color like, i mean for the price that you're paying for this this better pump my gas and wash my face at the end of the day it doesn't even come close. No. Oh. Mm -mm. Oh, I really, really didn't like these. These are the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Glow Highlighters. I have three and six. I had all of them. CoverGirl had sent a package over. These were the two that I kept. They are just not good. So they're in like a paint pot kind of packaging. But... There's just, like, what? There's, like, no, you're a highlighter? No, it looks like a base for eyeshadow, which I tried it as a base for eyeshadow, and it doesn't work as that either. And they're this weird cream formula that's very patchy, very, like, chunky shimmer. Ugh, don't do it. I have this hair product from IGK, and I'm usually a big fan of this brand. This is the Cleansing Walnut Scalp Scrub. I want to show this to you guys in a close-up, but it is this, like, chunky, weird, like, gritty. It looks like an exfoliator, like a body scrub kind of thing. 
So I used this as directed. So what they say is work a walnut sized amount into wet hair, concentrating on the scalp. Add water to create more lather. Gently massage until exfoliants melt away. Rinse. So I put this in my hair and I'm like scrubbing my scalp and I'm like, oh, I'm going to have the best scalp in town. It's going to be so exfoliated. But then when you go to rinse this out, it doesn't rinse away. And you're picking, like I'm not joking that entire night, I had to go back like four hours later and wash my hair again because I was picking little bits of the grit out of my hair. It does not rinse away. No matter how long you rinse your hair, there are still bits of grit left over in your hair. That is not a good look. Thank God I was at home. It was nighttime. I wasn't going anywhere, but uh-uh. I would love like a scalp exfoliator that rinsed away nicely. I think this is kind of a cool product, but it's just too gritty and it's too hard to rinse out. Love IGK, do not love this product. This is the last product that I'm going to talk about. So I have the Deck of Scarlet Long Lasting Liquid Liner. I'm going to shake it up good. Are you ready? It's like so lackluster. Like it's not even black. It's like not even gray. And from the second that I first swatched this, there was no color payoff. Like look at that. Can you imagine using that as a liquid liner? By the time you would get like just the wing done, it would be totally gone. And the wing that you have is like a, a very light faded gray. When I first swatched this, I was, I just like, are you serious? Like, there's, there's no way. What? Ah. No. Just no. I'm going to cut it off there because my blood pressure is already risen. So let me say again, the majority of these brands I love. Like, Benefit, I love. Elf, I love. Sol de Janeiro, obsessed with. So there's always good and bad with each brand and just because I'm dogging on one product does not mean that I don't love the brand you guys know this but I'm always honest with you guys and sometimes it's hard not to be honest with you but it's hard when a brand will send you a package and then there's a product that's just like so bad you feel bad you really feel bad because you're like they were generous and nice enough to take time to send me a, a bag of products and then you're like saying oh my god this is so terrible blah 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 so you know it's hard when it comes to that aspect but that's why i'm here and i feel like most brands are very accepting of that and they know that that's why we do what we do but Hopefully no one's going to be offended. I, I honestly love all of these brands. It's just sometimes there's misses and I have to tell you guys about them so that you can save your money. Oh, I actually do have one last product I want to mention. I just got this in a package today. So this is the City Color Illuminating Setting Spray. First off, I want to talk about the packaging because when this came in the mail, this was like pulled up like that. It's just like a piece of paper that's over a plastic bottle, which is totally fine. Like City Color is a, a lower priced brand. So I understand the packaging is not going to be like top notch, but I feel like they could have done a little bit better than so this. It's not even the packaging. It's it's this product. I'm going to spray it on my hand so you guys can see. I don't want to get this on my face though. Okay, so I shook it up really well. Okay. So, so that's what we're working with. So when it sprays, it sprays very like piecey. It's big drops. It's not even mist. And you have to rub it in. But once you rub it in, the product is totally gone. There's like, there's nothing left. Nothing left. I feel really bad saying it, but I just don't think this is a great product. I feel like the concept is good. I love this concept, but it wasn't executed right. The sprayer's not great. It needs to be like a ch rather than a ch, you know? And, um, mm, mm, no. The, there's just not, like, look, there's absolutely nothing left behind. There's nothing. I'm not exaggerating. There is nothing left behind. So, it's a fail. I'm sorry. Yes, I know. I keep apologizing. I just feel bad because when I get, like, 
passionate about these products like I really tend to go in maybe I got one that's a little bad I don't know I don't know anyway hopefully this video wasn't too negative if you are tired of my negative ass and you want to see me talk about some really really amazing products I will put my favorites video up here in a card I think it's up here um that's where I praise products and I talk about really great makeup so Hopefully that will help us all get past this very negative video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back very soon with a much more positive outlook on life. Um, yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Mwah. Bye. So not good. It's just not freaking good. Fail for me. Oh my God. That, why are you so hype? It's just like, why? Why are you so bad? Who puts freaking glitter into a sponge elf? Girl. I love you. No. I don't, I'm like, I was invested in these products. Like, I was rooting for you. I was rooting for you. Let's just say you're not doing amazing, sweetie. Not at all. Like, not even close. You're not even, you're not even like, Courtney. Fragrance, mother freaking overload. <laughs> overload. Like, dip me in a vat of essential oils and call me a fool. I just don't understand it. I just don't understand it. I, I, I just don't understand it. You said that. I don't understand it. It's like Russian roulette. One day you get the stopper and you're like, oh my god, life is good. I'm using my concealer. It's great. It's going on. Great. I love it. Put the lid on. Oh, I need a little bit more concealer. Take the lid off. Oh my god, look. The, the stopper decided to F me. And then you know what? Oh. Oh. Oh, it smells like cotton candy scented toilet bowl cleaner. It's not a good look. Like, I have two of the concealers right here. They stay in my little concealer holder. Look.